I seek the hours and the answers that frees me from all my sins. Every face turned to him grows brighter and is never ashamed. The cry goes up from the poor man and now he hears and helps him in all his trouble. Amen. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, that when we seek God, that he brightens.
Lord God, hallelujah, show me that He deserves all the glory, honor, and praise in the name of God. So let's continue to be the presence of God here in this morning, hallelujah, Lord. Let's lift His name, lift our God in the highest, oh Father God, hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Let's glorify His name, let's worship Him in spirit and in truth, hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. 
sa ating mga kapatid sa Pilipinas. And indeed, today is a great day. Okay. And dito sa Saudi ngayon ay sa papunta ng winter. Uh, lumabas kami kanina sa so morning. Uh, uh, malamig panahon. And I hope also in the Pilipin- sa Pilipinas, uh, I can see all the news na um, COVID cases is going down and uh, hoping uh, everything will be uh, Okay, sa ating mga kapatid na sa Pilipinas. And ngayon, ang, uh, the theme of uh, the month na na-post po sa ating uh, congregation is Joa uh, Shalom, the Lord our peace, with the theme verse uh, 2 Thessalonians, uh, Thessalonians chapter 3, uh, verse 16. Uh, magsimula tayo in, uh, of, um, in a small prayer. And let put ourselves in in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. And uh, uh, indeed, Lord, you are a God uh, of peace, Lord, uh, a good God, Lord, and a ma- almighty God, Lord. And today, Lord, uh, we uplift ourselves to say, Lord, we humbly uh, bow down, Lord, sa harapan mo, Lord, so that we can hear, uh, listen to your message, Lord. And today, Lord, um, kung ano man nasa puso namin, Lord, mga burden, mga uh, circumstances, Lord, bigay namin sa you, Lord, and we ask for your blessing, Lord, na, na, because we believe, Lord, na you are uh, bigger than our uh, problems or circumstances, Lord. Lord, uh, today, Lord, uh, pray, Lord, to open uh, our eyes and ears, Lord, so that we uh, receive, Lord, kung ano mga sahi mo, Lord, purpose ng buhay, Lord, and open our minds, Lord, and we ask for your uh, holy and divine wisdom, Lord, so that we will understand the lahat na mga gusto mo parating sa amin. And open our spirit, Lord, so that we may discern uh, your, uh, your leading and guidance, Lord. And tonight, Lord, uh, uh, today, Lord, uh, I pray, Lord, for your guidance, Lord, uh, while bahagi ko yung sa amin, Lord, tago mo sa yung likuran, Lord, na ikaw lang ang ating aming mga pupuri, Lord. In this we ask, in Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. Uh, the text for today, makikita sa, uh, let me open our PowerPoint. Uh, 
Pakita po sa in the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 For unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace so ang ating uh, theme sa buwan is uh, about peace okay uh, ito po yung uh, mensahe para tin ni lord sa atin and pinamagatan po natin ng prince of peace okay ano ba ibig sabihin ng peace Uh, sa dictionary, makikita, uh, mababasa na po natin dito. Ang meaning ng peace sa uh, Webster Dictionary is freedom or a period of freedom from public disturbance or war or absence of struggle, a quiet and calm state of mind, harmony among people, or an agreement to end a war. So what do you think when the word peace is mentioned? So ano ba sa isip natin? Okay. Before, uh, let me tell you one story. There was a certain uh, uh, young little girl. Okay. Uh, gumagawa siya ng isang uh, project sa kanilang school. And one day, uh, his father noticed uh, ginagawa niya and he asked her, Uh, his little daughter, uh, what you're doing? He said that, Daddy, I'm planning, uh, uh, I'm making a plan for a world peace. Sabi din ng daddy niya, uh, is it uh, a little big, I mean, is it a big task for a little girl? Sabi niya, don't worry, daddy, uh, because um, I have two other uh, uh, girls sa school na tumutulong sa kanya. So you can see that the little child Uh, he has a high hope for the world peace. Okay. But perhaps uh, she doesn't know or mostly of us uh, didn't know that uh, uh, as per recorded history, uh, as per mga sa, uh, statistician, there are about uh, in these times from, from, from during, uh, 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 let's say before Christ and until now, It is about 8% na, na achieve yung world peace. And sa recorded history, there are about 8,000 mga treaties. Uh, if you're familiar with our history, yung mga treaties is, uh, is an, an agreement uh, of peace between uh, the nations. So, peace is sa so, so nakikita natin sa uh, web uh, web uh, webster dictionary is an absence of struggle a struggle okay. ngayon ang pag-aaralan natin is what is true biblical peace bakit po sinabi ni Lord sa 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 team natin na first Thessalonians 3:16 now the lord of peace himself given uh, give you peace always by all means the lord be with you also I understand natin ngayon what i- what are these uh, 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 biblical peace na minimension ni refer dito sa ating Bible. Uh, Before we, uh, before I give you the uh, four elements uh, of biblical peace and reports of Bible, you, uh, I will discuss to you what uh, ano yung mga mga bagay na hindi siya tinuturing na peace. Okay, a peace uh, for a certain uh, uh, one for a certain time na uh, what you call that na halimbawa 
uh, ayaw natin magkaroon ng ng uh, gulo sa ating kapwa. Okay? If you are a Christian, you don't want to have a, a argument or agreement, but yung kwa natin, yung you, we should not sacrifice yung truth, yung biblical truth, eh, ang knowledge about God also. So, hindi at tinatawag peace. Iniwasan natin magkaroon ng agreement sa ating mga kapwa na kaibigan or kapwa natin uh, uh, kapatid or kapwa natin na co-worker because uh, makuha tayo, uh, what you call that, uh, sumasabay tayo sa kanila ng, uh, what you call that, uh, uh, uso para, para maiwasan yung, uh, uh, what you call that, uh, argument. That's not what we call peace. Okay, peace um, dahil ayaw natin magpagawa sa kanila. But we sacrifice the truth. Second piece is that uh, um, what you call that, uh, sabi dito is uh, uh, you become being lazy, ayaw mo may gulo, ayaw mo may magkwan, pero wala ka ginagawa um, for the Lord, that's also a different uh, uh, story. Okay. And also uh, peace na, na, na what you call that uh, pinibigay uh, let's say, uh, mga treaties about uh, countries, war about countries. Uh, for, for, for example, ang, ang mga, mga rebels, they fight, they fight for justice. They fight for, what you call that, uh, 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 their rights. Sometimes, uh, uh, pinaglaban nila peace. We, we do not also call them uh, uh, pinaglaban nila peace because you know that the, the Lord has the authority, uh, given us the authority sa mga government. There are so many things, so many things na nakakonfuse sa atin. Uh, ano ba talaga tong peace? But we will start on, uh, on a biblical uh, uh, peace na refer dito sa Bible. So I start it with number one. In Christ, we discovered upward peace. Okay. Ano to yung upward peace? Upward peace is the basis of all true peace. It's one needs and received when Jesus Christ is accepted as Lord and Savior. Mabasa natin dito sa text. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, ang iba hindi sila ng agreed. Ah, wala naman hindi naman ako kalaban ni Jesus Christ. Eh, remember that. Ating separation uh, sa ating Panginoon is sin. Okay? Those are the barriers, yung sin. So, this will be considered as the enemy of God. Many people do not understand that rejection or negligence toward Christ means that a person has declared himself or herself as an enemy of God. So, those scenes are the barriers like wall and signifying war. Kaya makikita natin sa Ephesians chapter 2, 2, uh, 14 and 16. For he himself is our peace who was made the two and one has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility by abolish, uh, abolishing his flesh, the law of its commandments, and regulation, his purpose was to create himself one new man out of two, thus making peace. Okay. If you remember the time na you, we received the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, sa ating buhay, if you remember the time na, na, na he reached out of, to us. We clearly know that the peace of God na sa atin. He wants to know that sa atin, meron tayo yung relationship sa Kanya. Okay? Kaya tinatawag natin dito, saving peace. Okay? Because we will, uh, we, will, we will have an upward peace when we have relationship to our Jesus Christ. 
we we are not considered him as an enemy okay because of our relationship sa kanya na break natin yung mga walls yung barrier okay. so ito yung isang piece na na minimension dito sa bible is the upward piece so once we are justified by the Lord Jesus Christ through our faith, clearly there is a peace because of our relationship to Him. So, not na- understand you. Peace is nothing to do with the absence of struggle. Struggle. Peace is is also our. We start relationship with our God. To put your faith in Christ is to lay down the sword of sin and turn into faith to surrender. Nag-surrender tayo sa Panginoon. Ating life, sinurrender natin sa Panginoon. Amen? So that is the upward piece. Second piece is inward piece. So, in Christ, we discovered inward peace, or we call it inner peace. Okay. So once we have peace with God, we are ready for real peace with within ourselves. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, many Christians do not experience inner peace because some they do not understand how to activate it okay let me read one uh, text from the bible john 14 1 dito, let not your hearts be troubled believe in god believe also in me anong ginamit bakit ginamit niya the word let let us not or let not your hearts be troubled. Why do we let tayo? Because there's something, there must be something we do in ourselves. Something totally unnecessary. Which causes us to lose our inner peace. Let me uh, tell you one, uh, another story. Uh, may isang... Uh, Siyang lalaki, uh, nagpunta sa psychiatrist. Sabi niya sa psychiatrist, uh, Doc, hindi ako makatulog. It drives me crazy. Nababaliw ako. Sabi ng psychiatrist, ano pala ang problema? Sabi niya, Doc, every night when I go into bed, pag matulog na siya, okay, Naiisip niya may tao sa baba ng kanyang higaan. You know, if you remember yung, ang ating bed, may may four legs. Okay. Parang bata, no? Na natatakot para may multo sa baba. Sa, sa baba. So, sabi niya na, na uh, sa kanyang mind, may nagdi-disturb sa kanya na parang may tao doon sa, sa baba. And then, ang um, Ang ginawa ng, kan, ng lalaki is uh, pumunta niya sa, uh, tinignan niya sa baba, walang tao. So, he crawled under and doon siya natulog. Pero pag higa niya doon, ini, may disturbance niya sa kanyang mind na parang may tao na sa taas. Okay. His wife was not uh, uh, there. Okay. His wife was out uh, working maybe his wife is a uh, uh, a nurse or or uh, a night shift and on and then ang sabi ng psychiatrist okay uh, i think i can uh, uh, we will have a session para ma solve natin yung pro- uh, problema but it will cost you okay 75 dollars per visit and then it should be twice a week okay for a year 
uh, let's say 10 months or a year uh year it will cost you seven thousand i i think okay. i mean throughout the uh, uh maybe two years ang kanila kontrata sabi na ang kuha ng lalaki is uh doc masyadong uh malaki yung presyo na yan sa me as a as a uh, working person as a kuha uh, normal na trabaho lang ibig sabihin hindi naman mataas ang kanyang kakayahan sa uh, uh, trabaho. Yung sweldo niya, tama-tama lang. So, sobrang laki. So, I will talk to my wife. I-discuss namin kung, uh, kung paano. And then, one day, tumawag ang lalaki and sabi niya, Doc, hindi na ako, uh, uh, what do you call that, uh, babalik dyan sa, sa hospital or psychiatric hospital. Sabi ko, ano, ano yung yari? Nasolve na mga problema? Yes, Doc. Uh, my wife solved the problem. So, anong ginawa ng wife niyo? Ang ginawa ng wife niya is pinutol yung apat na legs. So, every time na patulog na siya, wala niya siya isipin na may natutulog sa baba dahil wala na yung legs. So, this is just a funny thing na na but it give us also a, 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 an idea that we also, God wants us na to cut off legs at yung mga worries and anxieties. That's why sinabi niya dito sa, sa, sa text is do not let our hearts be troubled. Tayo mismo nag, uh, gumagawa sa ating uh, sarili dahil sa ating mga, mga, mga iniisip. Remember, okay, ang inner peace Pag humingi tayo sa tulong ng Panginoon, He will give you inner peace. Sometimes may mga problema tayo like uh, finances, pagkain. But if you read the Bible and you believe the promises of God, sabi niya, He will never abandon you or forsake you. Or sinabi pa niya, look at the birds, pinapakain niya. Ang libre, tayo pa kaya mga anak niya. Ating mga problema sa trabaho, ating mga relationship, marami tayong mga, mga umapis sa atin. And if you read the Bible, alam mo yung pinangako ni Lord sa atin na be still and I will fight for you. There are lots of promises na sinabi ni Lord sa atin. Do we trust Him sa mga promises ni Lord? Do we? Sabi niya dito, you will keep in perfect peace. Sabi sa Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3. That whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Whose minds are steadfast. Yung mind natin ay dapat nakafocus sa Panginoon. You know, focus on Him. Okay. Not the problem. Not mga worries natin. We focus on Him to give us solution, to guide us, to give us wisdom para mga solution. Minsan na uh, alala ko dati sa trabaho, it's uh, long before, sa stress ng trabaho and uh, may inutos uh, sa previous company ko, may inutos yung, yung owner, may ibig sabihin yung owner ng company, may pinapagawa sa akin. And then, uh, hindi ko masolve. Okay. And then, kasi sabi ko sa kanya na, na lahat ng kwan natin, uh, uh, paraan, uh, hindi talaga masolve. Ibig sabihin, hindi to para dito sa kwan, itong klase na project. Pag sa bahay, hindi ako makatulog kasi iniisip ko, baka pasisigawan niya ako bukas sa kinabukasan. Papagalitan ako. The whole night, ako nakatulog. Nag-pray ako. Sana mas ma- ma- mabigyan ako ni Lord ng uh, solusyon sa sa yung, yung project na yun. Kung anong solusyon na ibibigay. Wala. Wala ko, na, wala ko naisip na solusyon. Hindi ako nakatulog pa. Puyat pa ako. Eh, wala pa solusyon. Kinabahan ako pag the next day when I come back to the office after I pray. 
Ang naharap po yung boss namin, yung may-ari ng company, sabi niya, uh, Jeremiah, forget about it. Uh, I, uh, as, as you said, uh, there's no solution for this one. Ito na lang gagawin natin. Uh, forget about this project. We'll get another project. Kasi bidding yun eh. And, 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 so imagine mo, hindi ako natulog, nakatulog for the whole night. And then, wala na isip wala pa ako ng solution uh, na na, is, uh, na 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 pumasok sa isip ko and then so I'm so worried uh, uh, humina ako dati mga sipre puyat na noon ito lang si sana habi niya forget about it it's okay now imagine mo we should be trust in the lord it we focus kay lord he will be the one who give us solution sa ating mga problem mga problem we are ourselves is the one who's making uh, uh, confusion sa ating sarili or struggle sa ating sarili. Okay. Inward peace, hingin natin sa Panginoon. Through trusting all His promises na magkikita sa Bible. If you don't read the Bible, of course, di mo alam yung mga promises ng Lord. So I advise us as a Christian, even though you are already Christian, let's continue uh, reading the Bible or at least maalala natin yung mga promises. In times na may mga, mga situation, mga circumstances, dumaan sa buhay natin, especially ngayon, mga, mga uh, 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 for the past year, mga, mga situation from pandemic, um, what they call that, um, uh, economy, uh, problems sa economy, and uh, most our jobs uh, napikado. But if you believe that God... Uh, uh, still with you throughout this uh, uh, journey's buhay mo, throughout this uh, mga trials na harap mo, indeed, uh, hindi ka tayo pinapaypayaan. And uh, blessed na we are still here, continue pa nagsiserve sa ating Panginoon. And other text mention about peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So, ilang, uh, the long beses binanggit ni Lord, I will give peace. Peace I leave with you. Peace I give you. So, dal dalawa, dalawang beses niya. So, again, yung una, ang tinawag natin na uh, saving peace which is the upward peace, ngayon, ang inner peace natin or inward peace, we call it as a living peace. We should always trust sa ating Panginoon, Panginoon and we do not rely on our strength and let's uh, let uh, not our hearts be troubled. So, tayo mismo, um, wag natin isipin yung mga, mga circumstances Bago natin isipin yun, we ask first the guidance of our Lord Jesus Christ or our Father. So now, we will go to the third piece. In Christ, we discovered outward peace. Outward peace means Peace, we, have, we should make peace to our surroundings. So the Bible, uh, uh, our text in the Bible, uh, magkita sa Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14 and 15. Make every effort to live in peace with all men and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one misses the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. The third kind of peace we need to be aware is a peace with people around us. Okay? We should be, as a Christian, we should be a peacemaker. Okay? God is not asking us to do the impossible, but there are some people who will not let you live at peace with them. And we must not sacrifice truth for peace. 
And we cannot submit to falsehood and injustice in the name of peace. So, binanggit ko kanina, ano yung hindi peace? Uh, because uh, uh, we are sacrificing the truth. First, let's say, uh, may isang tao na gumagawa ng kasalanan, isang tao na, na uh, responsible natin siya, idalain sa pati Panginoon, okay? uh, responsible natin uh, i-remind siya, responsible natin, share siya ng gospel. Okay. That's one of our responsibilities sa atin, uh, mga kapa, kapwa-kapatid natin o kapwa-tao natin. But uh, there are some people who do not let you to be at peace. Okay. We are trying our best naging maging peace sa kanila, pero nil, sa kanila ayaw. The important thing is, in our part, nagawa natin. That's why in sinabi sa Hebrews dito, make every effort to live in peace with all men. So gagawa tayo ng paraan. But if ayaw nila, then God will take care of it. So, because God is a forgiving God, because God is love, first God love us, though yet we are sinners. Diba? is enemy tayo ni Lord but he is the one who reach out to us so ganin gawin ganun din ang gagawin natin sa ating kapwa na tao so may ginawa siyang hindi maganda sa iyo so because we as a believer of Christ we know the truth kaysa sa kanila so we will be the one to initiate to make reconciliation or to make peace sa kanila. Okay. We're the one who be the one to first to forgive sa mga, mga kasalanan na ginawa nila. Because we are the sons of God nagmamanifest si Jesus Christ sa ating buhay and do when we, uh, uh, the same thing we will do to others. So we are responsible for peace in relationship as far it depends on us. We should be uh, being honest with ourselves. We should ask if we are practicing peace. Ginagawa ba natin ito? Mahirap ba ito? Actually, mahirap talaga. Yung, mga, yung, yung nakita mo yung kaaway mo, may ginawa mo kasalan. Mahirap talaga. But we cannot do it on our own. We will as the strength of Jesus Christ na magawa nun. Kung ngayon, mga kapatid, if may may naisip kayo sa mga mga sa mga family mo, may may may, may grudges ka sa kapatid mo, grudges ka sa mga parents mo, or may grudges ka sa mga old classmate mo kasi may ginawa sila ng hindi maganda sa iyo, pinahiya ka, or, or sa some, some mga excess ninyo, uh, hurt ng puso ninyo, or sa mga katrabaho ninyo na, na gumawa ng, ng what you call that, uh, bad things against you, gumawa ng false or gossip about you, trabaho para matumas lang ang kanila, position, mga boss ninyo, na puro otos na otos, na uh, wala naman sa tama. We will make peace with them. Okay? Forgive them, as the Lord says, as the Lord forgive us. And try effort making peace, uh, make peace with them. But if ayaw nila, then it's not our concern anymore. It's a concern of the Lord. He will take care of that one. Then we will experience inner peace. Kung magawa mo itong outward peace, may experience mo inner peace. Bahala na sila kung hindi sila makatulog. Ikaw makatulog ka ng ayos pag uwi mo sa buhay. But always, don't, for, uh, don't, uh, but don't forget always to pray to them, uh, for them. We, uh, we should always pray for our brothers and sisters and also our enemies. 
then we will achieve an outward peace. Okay? As I said, peace is not only absence of struggle or absence ng, ng mga what you that, uh, weapons. Actually, sabi ni Paul, uh, Apostle Paul, kahit there's an, uh, there's an absence of struggle, yung hindi ka kasama sa gera or sa or di ka humawak ng mga ano tawag yan, yung mga baril or or, uh, or or mga mga sharp uh, swords. But we are still on uh, as a Christians, we are on a spiritual warfare. We are at war on the dominions of uh, evil, spiritual dom uh, domain or spiritual uh, world. That's why God is always remind us to uh, use the armor of God. Remind tayo ni Paul, mga armor of God tayo, ng ating helmet, vest, kanyan. But Paul always remind, uh, always, uh, despite sa, uh, if you remember the um, experience ni Paul sa kanyang buhay during the time uh, uh, na share ng gospel, share ng gospel he exhibit uh, peace in term, in, 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 uh, during the times of circumstances. Okay. Pinanggit niya na he kalma lang din siya. Nakakalma lang siya because God is with, uh, with him. And through us also, even though we are in a spiritual warfare, because Christ is with us, right? we call it Prince of Peace, is with us, or peace be with you, sabi ni Lord, then, we are confident enough na uh, uh, matatagumpayan natin lahat yung mga, mga circumstances na uh, darating sa ating buhay. And, uh, ngayon, palapit ng uh, next month, it will be a Christmas season. And uh, during uh, Christmas season, kung ano mga mga uh, before going, uh, before maabot natin yung Christmas uh, month, kung ano mga mga graduates natin sa ating mga, mga family, kaibigan, kapwa natin, let's make peace with them. And also sa ating sarili, kung ano man na uh, mga disturbance or mga, mga, mga trouble sa ating mind, Let's start putting trust on God. Okay. Kasi min minsan yung mga, mga troubles na sa ating mind, about stress ka sa trabaho, um, stress ka sa mga problema, sometimes yung mga actions natin, madadamay yung iba. Okay. Sometimes we're out of control. Okay. There are times na, na yung mga... Uh, yung mga uh, pag-reply natin sa ating mga kaibigan o sa uh, other friends or uh, I mean family or sa ating uh, kapwa, uh, office mate, hindi na maganda because sa mga outward na uh, result sa ating mga stress or sa ating mga problema na uh, sometimes we are out of control. Okay. Na, 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 napapansin, nyo, na, napapansin nyo ba? There are times na ako pagdating sa I mean there are times na na galing sa trabaho pag uwi stress and I want to make sure na yung stress ng problema sa trabaho hindi ko madadala sa bahay kasi when I face my wife I should be uh, dapat masaya dapat uh, 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 mahinaon or something ganoon kasi kung idadala mo yan and then, madala mo sa, sa, sa family mo, like if you have children, galit ka sa trabaho, and then, nadala mo sa bahay. Uh, I mean, yung anger mo is nadala mo sa, sa mga bata. No, it's, it's not really uh, good. And also sa mga friends mo, na in, al, di nila alam na anong problema mo, bigla ka lang wala sa mood. So, we start put our trust with the Lord. Okay? And that start uh, trusting him so that we will not also create uh, trouble sa ating puso. Okay? We should be in control. Okay? We, should not, we should not let the wicked 
or enemy control us. Kaya we should karon tayo ng inner peace when we start focus on Jesus Christ. So again, number one, uh, that is, uh, balikan natin number one, in Christ we discovered upward peace, that is uh, saving peace. Second, in Christ we discovered inward peace, inner peace, or living peace. Third is, in Christ we discovered outward peace. Lastly, in Christ we discovered onward peace. The book of James says in James 5, 8, you to be patient and stand firm because the Lord is coming with him. Again, uh, you to be patient and stand firm because the Lord's, uh, the Lord's coming is near. Again, uh, in Second Peter chapter three, verse fourteen. So then, my dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to find spotless, blameless, and at peace with Him. Okay. So, yes, there is an outward, everlasting peace. One day, the Prince of Peace, who is that? Jesus Christ. One day, the Lord of Glory will come. Okay, and Jesus comes to set up the kingdom peace on this earth. So, darating si Jesus Christ in no time. As the Lord said in the Bible, He will come like a people of the night. And kasama niya yung mga angels. So, we're looking forward for another home. Beautiful home, a heavenly place. When there is no mourning, no sorrow. No problem. Walang problema. So lahat ay puro peace. Because we as a Christians, we believe na ating buhay, or I mean, ang ating bahay ngayon, ang titira natin, or ating dito is, our earthly home natin is temporary. We're looking forward a home with Jesus Christ. And if napapansin mo, International Standard Bible is a stated that many times, 318 times, I mentioned some Bible, oh God promised to come in the second coming. So are we excited? Okay. Are we excited that time na for the thing in Jesus Christ dito, we are ready to face with Him and ready to be with Him. So that is a peace, an outward peace ng ate, na atin na uh, looking forward. So, mga kapatid, I believe na ngayon I could consider is uh, uh, some uh, most of us na victory na sa ating mga uh, na, na nandito pa rin tayo ngayon serving the Lord. As, as far as I remember start, uh, since last year, nagkaroon tayo ng maraming uh, uh, circumstances dito sa Saudi as well as sa Pilipinas uh, because of this pandemic ngayon, yung lumabas kami kanina nagbabike na kami kanina uh, wala akong mask I mean, nafe-feel ko na yung, yung, yung air na nalala ko dati na palagi tayo na, na lockdown, palagi nagmamask eh, ngayon parang feeling ko na yung freedom okay? so just remember that if we are continue with the Lord walk sa ating buhay with the Lord and continue to trust Him, continue to serve Him, then of course, itong mga apat na peace, upward peace, inward peace, up, I mean, upward, inward, and outward peace. And the other one, lastly, is onward peace. Ay, makakawa natin, may experience natin. So, mga kapatid, if, if sa atin hindi pa nakakilala sa Panginoon, uh, always, um, just let me uh, um, uh, share to you that uh, if we uh, nakakilala sa Panginoon, we start uh, having peace with Him and we start uh, trust with Him and let, uh, let Him uh, uh, open sa ating puso 
uh, we will, uh, I mean, open him to accept him as our Lord and personal Savior. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, he will guide us sa ating mga uh, walk, sa ating buhay. Kung ano mga storm na na, na, na experience natin, just like a storm na experience ni Peter, then, uh, the storm is still there. Okay? And that's why a peace is not absence. It's not only the absence of struggle. The storm is still there. But with Christ, nandun si Christ kasama ni Peter, he was protected against the storm. So sa ating buhay, storm is always there. Okay? There is war is always there. Either physically or either spiritually, the war is always there. Okay? Makakamta natin ang peace when we uh, accept our Jesus Christ. And when we, when we live with, with Jesus Christ, then we start having those inward and outward things. Okay, ito lang po lahat. And uh, magandang umaga uli and magandang hapon. And uh, peace be with you. Uh, let us close this one. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for your message, Lord. Thank you for uh, this word that you revealed to us, Lord. That indeed, Lord, na ikaw lang ang, ang source ng aming uh, uh, peace, Lord. Uh, uh, indeed, Lord, uh, the Bible mentioned that, Lord, uh, one of uh, your uh, if, uh, ascribing, Lord, is you are Prince of Peace, Lord. Not just a counselor, not just a, a savior, but Prince of Peace, Lord. Lord, sa aming buhay, Lord, uh, thank you for this uh, revelation, Lord, that we understand, Lord, that uh, only you, Lord, who, who can give us peace, Lord. Uh, upward peace, inward peace, uh, outward peace and onward peace, Lord. Lord, uh, we pray, Lord, that tulungan mo kami kung ano mga mga, mga burden sa aming puso. If we have uh, um, some uh, uh, bad relationship with others, Lord, kung may mga grudges kami, Lord, we pray, Lord, na alisin mo tong mga, mga wicked things na naiisip namin, Lord. And we ask your Holy Spirit, Lord, to fill us with love, patience, and caring, Lord, to others, Lord. So that as we uh, uh, go through this week, Lord, so, kung saan man kami, Lord, sa trabaho man, or sa man namin, family, Lord, kung ano man harap namin, Lord, we believe, Lord, na uh, your peace is with us, Lord. In this we ask, in Jesus' name we pray, Amen.